Hi guys, so today I have a very, very exciting video. In fact, it's going to be two videos because after waiting for over a month and a half, Spooky Box Club finally sent us some boxes. So basically there's two boxes here. This has happened once before. It's where one of the boxes has been delayed and instead of sending it out sort of in the middle of October they decide just to leave it till the end of October and send another box with it. So I've decided I'm going to do both of the unboxings today because I am just too excited to wait. So the first one I'm going to open is the Globe Trotter one because I believe that was the one that was due to get here first. So these boxes went out in really small like increments so I know that a lot of people have already got them and it just happened that I was like further along the waiting list but luckily thank you everyone <laughs> I haven't got any spoilers so far. So this is going to be like a complete blind unboxing. I have talked to Simply Gothic and she said that I'm going to love this first box so I am now even more excited to open it. So it turns out I picked out the right box first so this is the Globe trotter box. I think we've got two boxes so far in this new style that say spooky box club on the front with some bats and stars and then we've got stars on this side and bats on this side and on the bottom it has their return address. So as always there is a sticker on the front and this one is a little skeleton with a little suitcase and it says globe trotter with some little bats and he's got a camera around his neck and I think we can probably gather that this is going to be more of a travel themed box. As I said I've had no spoilers and I have like no idea what kind of thing is going to be in here but thinking about it I mean we've had the holiday box and in that we got a fan we got an amazing beach bag we even got a towel which I actually have right here um so I'm interested to see what kind of things are in here obviously there's not a suitcase because it's slightly too small for that so let's open it up so inside we've got our cheat sheet on the top which looks pretty full from the little viewfinder I can't see what it says but it looks like it's purple stripes so check the cheat sheet afterwards and then as you can see there is a ton of noodlies on the top so as always I'm going to pull these out blindly so I'm going to take the noodlies off there seems like quite a lot of noodlies there and the first thing I can feel is this <gasps> oh my goodness okay so when I met up with Simply Gothic she did mention that she wanted a luggage tag this is everything we could ever ask for it's a batty coffin luggage tag and it looks amazing so not sure whether or not I'm actually going to use this as like a luggage tag for like holidays but I may put this on my laptop just so that it will have my name on it in case I ever lose my laptop so as you can see it is in a coffin shape and it has these little bat wings on the top it has this bit for connecting it and I'm going to see how it actually okay so it's got little poppers underneath and you pop them open so you can take it on and off very easily feels like it's pretty sturdy and pretty like secure on there so hopefully it won't fall off on the back it's just your plain black and on the front it says spooky box club and then it has this section for your name your address and your telephone number this is made out of like a rubbery material it's very like bendy and squashy it's that sort of material that you get a lot of like key rings out of I just moved this and I've seen that the actual like plastic bit of mine is like popping out so I think it's probably not meant to be bent to that kind of extent but it hopefully yeah it very easily pops back in there I think it's because it's just one of these like slidey out bits so I'm going to take this out because I want to see how easy it is to write in it because I think that from the looks of it the paper comes out the top so this bit is actually quite fiddly to undo which is good it means that hopefully it won't fall off very easily because I wasn't too sure on those clips but I've got it open finally so it has a little kind of slot at the top and you can pull these bits out so let me check what you could do Okay, so it seems like that paper is like pretty stuck in there. What I'd probably do is take the front bit off, which is this little like shiny bit of plastic, which is see-through. I'd write my name and address just there, like just like that. And then when you finish, just slide the little thing back in 
and cover it up even though as i said this little plastic bit did pop out when i opened it i am not too worried just because i feel like if you write with a permanent pen anyway that plastic bit isn't necessarily gonna be needed so i'm just gonna close it up so i'm very pleased with that as i said i think i'll probably put it on my laptop bag so next up is this and it feels slightly squishy it is oh a crescent moon oh i picked up two things so this is a black kind of pleather looking thing it's an organza bag and i think i'm pretty certain this is going to be a passport cover so it has a little like silver crescent moon on the front I'll take it out of the packaging so we can investigate further. It looks like this is for your passport. So it is just a black cover. It feels like a metal moon. It is like very cold. Um, a little crescent moon on the front. It's plain black on the back. Although it does say Spooky Box Club. And then inside it has these little sections which I'm guessing is for popping your passport in. It feels quite nicely made. It is a pleather material, as I mentioned. It's quite squishy. The inside is very soft. So I'm guessing your passport would slit in there. Now, I'm not 100% sure what these bits are about, but there's these kind of little slots here on either side. Now, I'm wondering, maybe these are for putting cards in. Um, maybe, like, your insurance card or something along those lines for travelling. Um, I'm not sure whether or not I would trust it with my bank card because it's not really an actual pocket. It's just a little slot. Um, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you're meant to thread something through there. Um, but either way, it's really nice. I'm not sure what else you could use this for. Maybe if you have a nice little diary or a notebook or something along those lines, you could put it in there as, like, a cover because I feel like it could fit a few different sizes. I may try that out. Okay, so I picked up this little notebook, although I've just realised it's slightly too big, but if you got one which was the right size, you could probably slot it in there like that and then have it as like a notebook cover obviously if you got the right size. Um, I actually already have a cover on my passport but I'm probably going to swap it for this one because the cover I've got at the moment isn't that pretty, it's it's just plain red. So I may swap it for this one since that is what I think it's intended for. So next up we have a lolly. So this one is very colourful. I think this is probably the most colourful one we've got so far. We've got reds, we've got oranges, we've got yellows, we've got greens. Almost kind of autumn -y feels to this. So let's open it up, see if we can determine what this month's flavour is. I think that's like a fruit cocktail flavour. For some reason I'm getting like artificial pineapple tastes. It is nice, I probably will come back to that later to finish off. So we have that lolly there. I'm going to end up having two lollies today since there are two of these boxes. So next up is this, it feels like some kind of strap am i right yes cobweb luggage strap so as you can see it has a nice little sticker on the front um, and it seems to just be one of those straps that you put around the outside of your suitcase just to keep it all nice and safe and also so when it comes out of like the luggage system when you get off the plane um off the boat or anything that you're going on you can really easily spot which one's yours again as i said i don't actually go on holiday that often um so i'm not sure whether or not i'm gonna save this for when i do go on holiday or if i can find another use for it but it basically looks like a seat belt with a big clip on it and it does have an adjustable part here so you can adjust it to make it as long or well this is the shortest which it will go um which i'm not sure really what bag that would go around it looks quite small um but obviously it can be made bigger so i imagine it probably can get twice the size or oh, maybe i'm wrong actually it may maybe that's the biggest it goes oh no here you go i was pulling the wrong bit <laughs> so if you pull it from here it obviously gets bigger and it can be massive literally it's very large i'm sure it'll fit round a whole suitcase now as i said i'm not sure what i'm going to do with it it is like quite thick it's a really nice material and it's got this cobweb pattern all over it and then it just if i put it there right 
clips in together and then you can put it around your suitcase as i said i'm not sure how much this is like meant to be like a safety thing i think it's probably more of like so you can recognize that it's your suitcase coming around um i'm not too sure what i'm gonna do with this yet if you guys have any ideas as to what i could use this for please do let me know down below it does feel a lot like a car seat belt it's that same sort of thick um sort of feeling material so potentially i can find somewhere to put it in my car so next up we have Oh, a little organza bag. I think this is the one I picked up earlier. And inside it has a tiny little charm. Now I was actually putting all of the charms on the charm bracelet because I lost my charm bracelet, then I found it, then I lost it, and then I found it again. So I was putting them all on my charm bracelet, but I realised that I didn't actually like never wore that charm bracelet just because it wasn't actual like proper sterling silver. So what I have done instead is I've like dispersed them all around. If you look at how handy I have my makeup bag here um, I've put like the little ghost one on my makeup bag so I've kind of just dispersed them all over the place they're on my purse and etc etc so this one is a cute little spider and it has a purple stone in it which kind of looks a little bit like an amethyst so it's on our regular lobster class which we get all of the other charms on and then here is the spider I did think at first it only had six legs but two of the legs are kind of holding on at the top and then the little purpley gem that looks Looks like a little amethyst it's very simply made it feels like it may be made out of like a plastic rather than a metal some of these especially like the enamel ghost one we got a few boxes back they felt really high quality but this one does seem a little bit more plasticky um, than the other ones but as you can see already all the pieces we've got seem to be really quite high quality more expensive pieces so I'm not too surprised that this one is maybe on the cheaper side but I still think he is really cute I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with him but to keep him safe I'm just gonna shove him on my makeup bag just so I don't lose him I have to say at first I was like yes all of these charms to go everywhere and then you realize there's only a certain amount of zips and key rings which I have in my life to put charms on um so next up is what is this oh the wrapper from the luggage tag exciting so then it is this which looks like a little diamond patch and it says best vacation ever and it has two little skulls on it this is a slightly smaller patch it is just in your regular diamond shape it is also an iron-on patch as well although with all the iron-on ones i always sew around the outside it has a little skull at the top and at the bottom and then there's these little stars and as i said it says best vacation ever and it's kind of embroidered with like a silvery shiny like embroidery thread so it is slightly like rough um but it does give it that kind of shiny effect so i feel like we're probably coming to the end and i know we haven't had a pin yet so i'm hoping i can find like a pin in here somewhere um if not oh i just felt something fabric maybe we don't get a pin this month interesting okay so oh cool so i thought this was a print at first but it's a spooky location luggage label so on the front it says spooky box club we have a little scene of a skeleton reading what looks like a map i think um and he's sat on a suitcase with lots of stickers on and there's some spooky trees on the background i feel like what you could really easily do is just cut that top bit off and have it as a little print i'll probably do that and just use it as like for notes or something so if i need to write someone a quick note when i'm sending them something i'll just write it on the back of there and inside it looks like it has some various stickers and some rogue bat confetti so let's open them up and see because so far it's a mystery all I can see is a bit of blue and I'm thinking these are probably going to be vinyl stickers so I'll probably be able to stick them on my laptop since I have a fabric suitcase okay so they look very colorful um, there's quite a few of them and some more rogue bat confetti so the first one is get lost in Bermuda and it's in a triangle so it's obviously the Bermuda triangle the triangle is made out of bones it has a writing at the bottom and a little island with a sunset and I think that's meant to be like a little seagull but we're gonna pretend it's a bat um, and then there's a little skull at the top of course like the Bermuda Triangle has lots of different legends and stories related to it so that's quite cute um, the next one is this one and it is oh I love it I love it already I don't even know what it says I can see that it's a diamond shape and it has some little pyramids in the background with the moon I just I love Egypt so much. And then there's a scarab beetle there in the middle and it says ancient Egypt with a little eye of Horus, I believe it's called at the bottom. Um, as I said, these are like thicker stickers. Obviously these are meant to be stuck to like a hard suitcase rather than like the 
fabric suitcase which I have um, but you could probably stick these to your car your laptop or your phone because I feel like these are the kind of stickers that do actually really stick on they're not like kind of the cheap paper stickers you get and then we have this one which has like a desert scene and it has a little UFO, I thought that's what it was, um, flying across the top and it says Death Valley National Park and I love the colours of it, I love the little cactuses at the bottom. I just generally really like the colours of this one and then, was that all of them? Oh no, they'd slid off my lap. So the next one is this one and I'm holding it around the wrong way and it's a nighttime scene and it has a little castle in the background, some trees, a moon, some mountains and what looks like to be the Loch Ness Monster, am I right? Yes. It says Loch Ness, beautiful Scotland, which is nice. I have not been to Scotland, but I will be going to Scotland in 2019, so that's very exciting. I will put that on my bag when I go to Scotland. And we've got two more. We've got this one, which has a mountain with some stripes and things in the background. And it says, I have no idea how to pronounce that somewhere in japan i should, should probably know what that says um, but of you that can actually read there is the writing on the sticker and it says japan underneath and i love all these little kind of blossomy flowers that are in the background and then the last one is this one which i'm loving it has kind of like a castly sort of looking mansion in the background there's bats a full moon a forest and it says i got bit in transylvania which i think is really cute and i'm very excited to stick that somewhere i probably will be putting this one on my laptop so these stickers are quite cute i feel like it may be a little bit weird to stick them onto your um suitcase if you haven't been there <laughs> if that makes sense um I haven't been to Egypt or the Bermuda Triangle or Japan or Transylvania or Scotland so I haven't actually been to any of these places um, so I feel like it's a bit weird um, but I still really like the stickers, I like the concept of them. As I said I'll be finding some kind of home for them so I have a feeling that that's everything other than the fabric item. I'm slightly sad that we didn't get a pin this month because the pins are like my favourite but we got this. And it is a witchy travel shoe bag. Um, okay, I was not expecting that. Um, I don't usually put my shoes in a bag, but I feel like it may be quite handy to have in the back of my car. So it feels like a nice, almost kind of cotton feeling bag. And from the looks of it, oh, I thought it was just plain black. I thought that it was just going to look like this, but no it has this on it and i love it i'm not going to be using it as a shoe bag i feel i'm going to use this as something else um because i love the style of it actually maybe i will maybe i'll leave it in the boot i don't know yet but it is so cute so it is a kind of drawstring bag it's one of the drawstrings that have only a string on this side so you pull it and it kind of scrunches up and shuts the bag and it turns into like a sealed bag what you could do if you wanted to I lied there's two sides I was gonna say you could cut a hole on this side um, but you can actually pull them together it's not the easiest bag to shut I have to say so you pull them together and then you've got like that now what you could do which I may do a video on if any of you would like to know how to do it is you could probably attach um, some little straps on each side and have this more as like a backpack sort of thing rather than just like a carry along bag or what you could do for a very very simple and quick kind of craft thing is just shove a pillow in there sew across the top and then you've got a gorgeous little pillow cover so i should probably stop talking about what you could do with it and actually show you the design of it so in the center we have these high heeled shoes they have like double straps and she's wearing some stripy tights or maybe some stripy socks and then around the outside of it you've got little twigs um there's a few little bats flying about we've got some lovely little mushrooms um and various different stars and like nature themed things maybe that it's like a strange looking acorn um, or a bud and at the bottom it says spooky box club it does look very detailed i do quite like the design as i said i'm not sure yet what i'm going to use it for but it does feel like a really nice quality bag so i'm very pleased with that and i'm surprised that they put a fabric item in here since they also had sent us this as well which is what i thought was going to be the fabric item so i am very very pleased with that so thank you very much to spooky box club so other than that, I think that is everything that was in the box. As I said, I'm slightly like 
not disappointed but i am like an avid collector of pins and i'm slightly like sad that there wasn't a pin in here but there's loads of stuff in here already so i'm not going to complain going through the cheat sheet we have the passport cover we have the shoe bag which was the last thing i showed you the luggage strap which was that one the luggage tag which was this the spider charm which i put on there the little patch the luggage label stickers which are just spread absolutely everywhere and also the lollipop so i did want to just check that, that i wasn't missing the pin just because i think this is the first time in probably maybe a year or over we haven't actually got a pin in there but luckily we've got a whole other box to open so hopefully we'll get one in there so thank you so much for watching i will be back super 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 soon with the next unboxing which is the glamour ghouls box which i'm also very very excited to see what's in there so thank you for watching if you do have any questions or comments please do leave them down below i hope you're having a spook spooktacular october we are so close it is the 27th today there is not long to go until the spooky day is upon us but if it's tiny where you are i hope you're enjoying the shade and i'll see you very soon bye